Well, first of all, I'm very, very proud of this group. Um, they just played one of the top 15 teams in the country. And what they were able to do in terms of what our game plan is in rebounding basketball and only getting out rebounded by five. And I will say that A&M had a lot more opportunities to get them than we did because they made a bunch of shots tonight. Um, just the way that they stuck together out there, it's a very tough environment. We knew a lot of things were going to have to go our way in order for us to come out on top today. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, but I'm very, very proud of the effort and uh, how hard they played. Questions for student athletes to the left, Cease. <clears throat> Uh, Robert Sessa, the Barton College Station. Well, Mackenzie, it looked like earlier you guys were getting your shots, but rushing their defense, or what about your slow start shooting? Um, I would say that it had more to do with us. Um, we've had some slow starts before, and we knew that um, we couldn't afford to have a slow start. Um, so I wouldn't say as much as the pressure or the pace of the game, because we play that fast all the time. It was just a matter of, you know, we were getting good looks, and they just weren't falling. Here in the middle, third row. Hi, Travis Brown at the Eagle. Um, Emily, it seemed like you had a wrap around your hand, kind of feeling it a lot. What, what kind of was going on with your hand, and, and how much was that? You can tell them now. Um, <laughs> um, what day was it? Saturday? Mm -hmm. Saturday during practice, I hurt my wrist. Um, went to the doctor on Monday. It's fractured. Um, it is what it is. I mean, it's... it's Horrible timing, but I mean, it could be. It could always be worse. Um, I still had the opportunity to play, which is all I wanted to do. Down front, Emily. Not to belabor this point, but you, uh, I saw one time where you you blocked one of their big girls inside, and I think you did it with your right hand. Yeah. And there, sure there was times where you just forgotten. Yeah, I could see you were really in pain then, right? Yeah, I mean. When you're in the game, like, you don't really think about it until you do it. And then I tried to block a shot, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that hurt really bad. But, I mean, like I said, I just wanted to play. So I'm, I'm just thankful I had the opportunity to actually play in the NCAA tournament. Other questions for student athletes? Down front again. Thank you. Uh, I guess for both of you, uh, just – you know, the two of you came in four years ago, and you kind of, I guess, made this a dream or something. You stuck stuck to it and uh, both became 1,000-point scorers and did all this stuff. I don't know how this, this moment felt being out there on this stage today. I mean, can't really put it into words, you know, the feeling. And um, I kept saying all week that, like, this hasn't really sunk in, and I feel like now it's, like, all hitting us. So, um, I mean, it's... It makes me speechless to think back to freshman year and like us and just being here, a blessing. What was the question again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, me, Mac, and Junior have been dreaming about this day for the past four years. Um, it's been awesome to play with Mac and Junior, two of my best friends. Um, I can't thank them enough for everything they've done for me. Um, it's been awesome to play for Trina the past three years. Um, I mean, it's just been, like Mac said, it's just been a blessing. Um, I wouldn't, tra I wouldn't tra change anything about it. Third row here on the left, Travis. Uh, I know uh, you said there's a lot of adrenaline that goes on into playing with, with in, a, in a game like this. How much are you able to forget about an injury like that just because it is the NCAA tournament? And I know Kennedy Carter had just come off surgery, too, on, on the other side of the ball just to kind of fight through an injury like that on this stage. Yeah, um, all I want to do is play and help my team win. So I just try to give my best effort out there. I mean, if it hurt, it's going to hurt. Um, it is what it is. So... Um, I'm upset that we couldn't get, come out with the win, but I'm still thankful I got to play with my teammates. Anything else for the student athletes? Ladies, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Questions for Coach Merriweather. Down front left, and then Christy. Uh, Katrina, could you just speak of Emily's? Uh, effort today in her performance and the way she sucked it up? 
there was never a doubt in my mind that Emily Vogelpool was going to play in this game. Um, I knew she was hurt in practice when it happened because she didn't finish practice. And this is a kid that has played on a fractured knee her freshman year. She played uh, the last, I believe, 10 games. Um, she's had shoulder surgery and come back in four months and did not miss a practice. Um, so I knew she was going to play. I think all she cared about was whether or not she was going to hurt the team. And with tears in her eyes, she said, if I'm going to hurt the team, I won't play. And I don't know how she could ever think that she'd ever hurt our team by being out there on the floor, no matter what her restrictions are. So in my mind, um, she just did what Emily always does, which is show up and play no matter what's going on. Right side, second row, Christy. Christy Reekin from the Associated Press. Um, how difficult was it with the first quarter that A&M had with all the threes they were making, just how quickly they came out of the gate? How, how t tough was that to deal with? Well, it's really tough to see that many points go up on the board that quickly. Um, but what we kept referencing uh, the entire time was the Arkansas game. You know, hey, they're at home. They're a really good team. There's a great chance they're going to come out and make every single shot. And so in those huddles, uh, during those media timeouts, we're saying, hey, we just got to weather the storm, got to weather the storm. You know, it'll slow down. It'll slow down. And unfortunately, when it did slow down, we didn't make enough shots during that time where they stopped scoring as much. Um, so it, it didn't cut down the lead as much as we needed it to. Um, but I do think they tried to put us away a few times, and that didn't happen in the first half. So we just kept fighting. But it is very tough. Um, but we know that they're a very good team and there was a chance that that was going to happen. To the right, Brent. Brent, Swarneman, Houston Chronicle. Was there at least maybe a little hope that Kennedy Carter's shot might be a little off or something like that? And then once you all have played against her, could you speak to her uh, talents? Well, in my mind, the little bit that I know about Kennedy Carter um, from when she was in high school, I figured she would play too. Um, and I figured that she would be pretty good. A lot of the time when people don't practice, um, it depends on what type of level player they are. She's a very high level player. So to hope that her timing is going to be off or her shot's going to be off, uh, that probably wasn't very likely. I also doubt that while she was sitting out that she was doing nothing. I'm sure she was doing cardio. I'm sure she was shooting. I'm sure that uh, she wasn't just in the bed hanging out. So I, I imagine she was ready you know, for this day and uh, figured that it was going to come. Third row on the left, Travis. Hi, yeah, Travis Brown at the Eagle. Um, what is the, the future for Emily? Does she surgery or rehab or, or what, what goes into healing that hand up now? Well, she's pretty lucky because it was a, a clean break. Um, but nonetheless, she's in a, a lot of pain. Um, and we knew it. And uh, I don't think she needs surgery. I think because it's a clean break that it's going to heal itself, from what I understand. Uh, but I'm far from a doctor. But that's the last word that we got on it. Um, and hopefully um, we didn't do any more damage to it. They said that they didn't think she could, which is ultimately why she played. Um, if they had told me that she was going to hurt herself further or it could be, you know, some damage that would hurt her later on down the line, then we would have met, had to make that tough decision. So we were pretty lucky that that wasn't the case. Uh, actually, it was um, a defensive play. Uh, being Emily, uh, she was hustling, chasing down a shooter, and she came and tried to tap it from the back, and the kid's elbow came down and hit right on top of her bone right here and just clean break. She said immediately her fingers went numb. Um, and then when she didn't play practice the next day, I was like, well, boy, you know, we got us a problem here. Um, but again, all she needed was to be told she could play with that brace on. And her and I got in the gym and we shot a little bit with that left hand and she saw the ball go in some and she managed to even make a basket today with that little left hand. Um, you know, she's just, she doesn't care. Like, she's just going to do everything she can for her team, and that is how she has been her entire career. Second row left. Robert Sessna of the Eagle. A coach, that slow start again, when you were getting shots, you weren't turning the ball over. Seeing you for the first time, did you feel your players were rushing shots? Maybe a little bit of defense or just why, why the misses? No, I mean, I think that sometimes you just get adrenaline going. Um, I don't think it's because the game was too fast. I don't think that there was anything incredible happening uh, defensively. Uh, I do think that um, – there's just a lot that goes into this game today. And so I can admit that we maybe had some jitters from the very beginning. Um, and, but I don't know. I, we make those shots all the time. Um, and we make those shots at that pace. Um, Mikael Miller starting off slow. 
you know, hurt us a little bit, getting in foul trouble, and then she came and showed up in the second half. Um, Angel Baker showed that she absolutely positively belongs on the floor with anybody that we play. Um, yeah, Simone Simmons, that people would say at five foot eight, you're playing the SEC school, that's number 16 in the country, there's no way that you're going to get a bunch of rebounds, <laughs> and she did. Um, so, again, I, I don't think that it has much to do with anything besides, you know, we just didn't make shots today. Second row, Christy, and then we'll wrap up down front left. Despite the loss with all the strides that your team has made over the past few years, what, what do you think about the future of your team going forward? Well, it's pretty exciting. Um, I mentioned before that we're always pretty good in the backcourt, um, and I think that we have a lot of work to do in the locker room. The first thing I said was, you know, we appreciate the opportunity to have seniors play with this group so that now they know what it looks like, they know what it takes, um, and that also means they have a lot of work to do. Uh, we had some long faces because there are people who wanted to play better today um, that went out there and really tried, and again, the shots didn't go down, and I hope that what it does is it gives them some motivation moving forward and how hard they're going to have to work if they ever want to be in this position again playing the NCAA tournament. We'll wrap it up down front. You've already touched on it once, but could you expound a little bit on Angel Baker really stepped up today? Angel's just always Angel. Um, again, you have Angel Baker and Mikhail Miller. They are creators, and they are well, um, well, how can I put this? Um, they create their own shots very well. Um, they create for other people, too. And when both of them are really good, we're really hard to beat. Uh, Angel Baker what I assume will happen moving forward is that she will become more consistent. Uh, same with Mikkel Miller. Uh, but today, what she showed is that she is not afraid to play against anyone, anywhere, at any time. And I'm not surprised. Um, what I always attribute our best um, characteristic of our senior class is adapting to her presence because they want to win so bad. They've always said, hey, you know what, go ahead. Like if, if you can get the shot, you take it. If you can go one-on-one -on -one and you can get to the rim, then you do it, and we'll just play around you. And it says so much about this team being able to have a freshman come in and have that kind of impact for us. Uh, but she's just special, and, and we knew it in high school. We knew we got a steal when we signed her, and um, it's just been a pleasure to watch her grow from the first game until today. Coach, thank you.